hello everyone and welcome to Diamond Art with Dell. Today I'm going to um, share a new project. This one is a 40 by 40 and you can see it's Harry Potter style themed um, diamond painting and I thought this would be a nice little one to do. It's been sitting on uh, my little box shelf thing there to get done and I thought you know what I'll I might just get this one started and see how it turns out. So that's what I'm going to show you today. So this is just what we're looking at at the start. Um, I've already kitted up in my usual sort of get to. This is a round drill and it has got uh, 24 colors. So that's pretty cool. Um, as you can see, it's sort of like a little shelf of magical wonder. We've got the letters um, from Harry Potter. We've got like the sorting hat. Um, we have our friend. We have the Harry Potter like glasses. And lots and lots of little things here. So we're going to get started on that one. So we'll just have a quick look at the chart. And you can see it's very simple. DMC codes, etc. And this is the drilling field. It's nice and clear. Some blocking there you can do. So this is a well printed piece, so that's the one we're starting in this video today. So there's a size, 40 by 40, and a thumbnail, and I've also got a chart down the other side as well to follow. But you can see it is a really nicely printed um, e-store budget friendly kit, and that's the one we're doing. The drills look pretty good, but we'll have a look at all um, in its process of stages and we might start hmm, maybe up in this corner we'll see how we go I'm not sure well sometimes I've been like to start in the bottom for some reason and working my way up so yeah, a lot going on this one all right so the first part I'm going to do is start um, setting up my wheel so this is a new one this is a white one I'm going to try or clear I should say really and um, I'm just starting with this one because uh, this color is number three or letter A. I'll just show you on the chart there. Sorry about the shine. It's a bit glossy in this part of the kitchen. Um, yeah, so number three is letter A and that's 371. But because it's predominantly all over the diamond painting in all of these sections, um, I'm going to start kitting up or setting up my wheel with some of those colors basically that come across all the time so i've noticed um gosh that shines terrible now uh, this u the x the a all very commonplace throughout the background so i'm going to put them in my wheel uh anything else that comes up a lot like maybe the j because it's a lot in the background there although it's a pretty solid color throughout and this i will probably be another one i will put W is also a good contender for the black background, although I'm considering just doing all that in one big hit. I don't know yet. Um, so yeah, I will basically have six colours in here, and I'll set them as such. Here I'll just put the colour I'm using from my kit up. There is my colour. There it is. So I've kitted up as such. And uh, so number three is symbol A. And what I do is I put the three in there, I give it a symbol on my wheel so that I can quickly identify what I'm working with and I can reference that back to here and then back to the chart if I need to. But you start to um, follow it pretty easily when you're doing that. So I'm just using some just basic little price tag stickers, you know, you can get from anywhere pretty much. And I'm just writing on with a pen, so there's nothing really fancy going on here. Uh, really basic stuff. So. One of the other letters, as I said, was going to be um, the letter U. It's probably one of the ones I'll probably use. So I'll grab that, which is, U is going to be, there we are, U is 18. So I'll just basically get 18. And I'll just pop them in here. It doesn't matter because it won't have any number. Oops, try, try and do this and holding it. Um, the phone to record is probably not the best idea. Don't mix my colours. So basically, tip that in there. Done. And then I shall add 
a sticker, so I'll just put U as my symbol. Oh, I'd like to go back over it so it's just nice and dark. Voila, look at that. Ooh. All right, get that off there. And ooh. I'm just going to stick it so I can see it facing up. I'm not going to open these up until I get to the end and empty them anyways because these are going to be the colors going to go right through. So I'll continue that um, with some of the colors. I said I have six to put on this wheel. Also got another one so you can sit them back to back if you want to make a full circle and then you can have 12 colors you can run. So that's pretty awesome actually. I really like the ridges in these particular containers so I've got a few more of these um, just because I want to try a clear background as well with different color drills. The purple one's fine um, but it's just in case I'm using blues on purples or something it probably wouldn't be as effective. But yeah so I'm just going to set the wheel up and then I'll start on the dime painting and I'll show you some photo progression of it coming together. Okay so we'll do that and then we'll talk about it how it all came together. Yay! Let's get cracking. So this is um, the drills for symbol W. So I'm just jumping in here. This is what I'm going to start with. I don't know why I want to start with this one. But it's actually not a black, I mentioned that before, but it's actually 3371. And then when I had a look, this one doesn't actually have a black in it at all. So that's um, a nice tone up for the books. Most diamond paintings have 310 in somewhere, but this one actually doesn't. So there we go. So if you don't like 310, this might be the diamond painting for you. <laughs> I just thought I'd have to add that in here. But this is actually, yeah, this is what I thought was black. It's actually a very, very... I suppose dark brown, if I can get it focused, there we go. And let's have a bit of a look at the shine of the drills anyway. Oops, I bumped myself. Let's turn this around so I can actually shake it. I'm going to shake or flicker or whatever, but there you go. So that's what I'm going to start with with this one. I'm going to start down this bottom left corner and I'm going to show you the progress. Wow. All right, we're all ready to go. So it's coming along nicely. That's just um, a few of the W's popped on. Got a nice little shine. This glue's really good. But I am in need of some more wax because I haven't actually freshened up this pen since my last project. It's been sitting around for a little while. So I'm just going to add some to my large end and my small end. Uh, it should hopefully fit on the edge of this. Let's see if we can get that in there. Give it a squish. And a tap. Ah. So let's get rid of the excess off the edge there. There we go. And I've got some nice fresh wax. Hang on, let's see if I can. There we go, some fresh wax. Not too hard to do one-handed. Let's try that again. Fresh wax. Can you see it? Mm. Anyway, it's definitely in there. And we're going to just pop some in the round end as well. So, yep, yeah, ready to go. So that should make it a little bit easier. Coming along. So, yeah, I'm going to keep going with this corner and then I'll show you how it looks. Alright, this is the first section I've done. It's rather late at night, so the lighting has changed. It's in the side light, but you can see it's got a nice shine. Um, it looks kind of good. I was a bit unsure about some of these pinks and so forth. A bit hard to see. Hang on. Some of these pinks and stuff there around the letters. I wasn't sure about that. It's not really coming up in this sort of light out here. Um, but yeah, I wasn't sure about that. But I think it's giving the right sort of shadows and things. Uh, yeah, so the beads are going on, I should say the drills are going on really well. Um, they seem to be staying in place, which is good. Uh, they're not too bad to put on. I don't have really any real major issues. I mean, they're a little bit difficult, I suppose, sometimes to pick up, but I think that was because I needed to change my wax. But, um, yeah, they've got a nice texture about them. They're going on the mat nicely or the canvas. Um, you can catch a little bit of sparkle. So it's 
It's going to be nice. It's going to be nice. So that's the first little bit finished. Um, I'll move on to this one tomorrow. I'll do the cauldron, I think. Um, I'll do a little bit of the, what do you call that? Um, see, it's late at night. I can't think. The, the broom. So that's something. Um, I'm making a heck of a mess. I've got my wheel all set up, but I'm thinking about getting the other one out so that I can do a few other colours. So that's it set up, ready to go. Um, I'll probably put a few more of these containers back in the cont into the main bit for the night and put the cover back on. And uh, yeah, and I'll start again um, tomorrow. So that's a little update. Yeah, not too bad. There's still a long way to go, but um, we'll get there. So we're pretty much done now. This one has taken a bit longer than I uh, anticipated due to a few hiccups along the road. That's just life, isn't it? But, ta-da, ready for the big reveal? I thought I'd just, you know, be a bit dramatic. Let's um, get to it. Here we are. Here is the big flip. Da-da, all together now. Ah, oh, wonderful. Look at that. That's actually come up really nice for the size. So this is a 40 by 40 uh, canvas, basically. So that is not your drill area. It's obviously about a couple of centimetres each side. But it comes up rather lovely. I'm just going to spit all the crap out of the road. Uh, it does come up rather lovely just as it is. There you go. Nice uh, image to size of canvas, I think. Worked out really well. Some really nice details um, for such a... Sort of fairly busy diamond painting, I think, for its size. But because they're very simplified uh, images, I think that's what works. So, yeah, I'm very happy with the end result of this one. I will frame it, and I'm going to pop this in the daughter's room because, yeah, she's a little pothead, so she really loves her Harry Potter. And I think this is going to be a great little addition to the room. So, yeah, beautiful. Now, I actually really enjoyed working on the actual diamond painting. As I said, I just ticked along. I sort of worked on, like... Um, box by box as I sort of went along as you can see by those uh, photos etc and I found that was a good way to work on this particular diamond painting I mean everyone sort of has their own style but that's how I found was good uh, sort of uh, way to break it down and I didn't actually need to use a light pad 
I'm just going to zoom in while I have a chat about some of these areas. Whoops. There we go. My stand. Um, so I didn't actually need to use a light pad or anything. That was really a bonus with this particular dime painting. So if you don't have one, uh, you don't need it so much for this particular piece, I found. Symbols were fine to read. The glue was good. It wasn't brilliant, but it was good enough. The jewels weren't sort of moving around or popping off or doing anything dramatic like that. So I didn't have any worries there. Um, the drills themselves are quite clean. I wasn't picking out rubbish. Um, they've got a nice shine. This is just inside light, by the way. I've just got just, you know, my lamps on. Um, so, yeah, it's got a nice sparkle. I might be able to take that outside even and show you. But you can see they, they've got a nice shine. So I'm happy with that. 24 colours in total. So it gave me a nice variety, nice some shading and so forth going on with my images. As I said there at the start, I was a bit concerned about some of these pinky sort of colours, but it actually works well with all the tones in the background and so forth. And yeah, you can tell what these images um, are and what they're supposed to represent and so forth. So yeah, it's pretty cool. So overall, um, I really do like the actual image and how it's come up. And it gives you all the little details and fun little things to look at in the image. So yeah, it's really cool. Um, so, no, I can't say I had too much problems with the actual canvas. Uh, I would like to have seen the glue just be a little bit better, maybe, if I was anything. Um, but, yeah, other than that, it's pretty good. I really, I, I found it really good canvas. Now, we'll move that aside and have a quick look through um, drills, etc. As you can see, I, I used my little wheels, and this is what I had set up. And this was a really good system I find with those sort of paintings that are switching in and out of different colours. I feel, I don't know if it really works, but um, I feel like I can work through the painting a bit more easily, maybe even quicker, um, because if you've got those colours changing in and out um, with those kind of diamond paintings anyway, I can just go back and go, oh yeah, I've got missed a couple of A's there, I'll do those, then I'm going to X's and going back and forth. So I find this a really nice way to put these together. Um, yeah, and they, they, you can either use one or two of the halves. Yeah, they're a fun little tray to play around with. And as I said, just using little shop stickers, drawing them on there, yeah, they just peel off. So now that I'm finished, I can just peel that off, throw that out. Um, these have got little stoppers. I'll just show you one. This is the B. So I'll just take stopper out. I'll try not to spill everything. I'm in a funny spot where I'm standing. But then you can just pour that into whatever colour you're using. Down in my chart to reference it off. Um, B was 15 because I can't remember. And you can either, well, I'll just put it in my containers for now, but I'm going to obviously put them all back into zip bags and stuff. But then you can just pour them straight in as such. And if they are being a little bit difficult, but just for demonstration purposes, they did come um, with like these little spoons, which are kind of cool, and a little brush thingy. So I was like, you can just sort of get there and just sort of brush them forward. I just have to sit there tapping and worrying about those other colours falling out or whatever. And uh, yeah, you can just get rid of them that way. And if you wanted to change your colour halfway through your dime painting, you can just add that one later on. So that's pretty much how they empty. So I'll go and do that later. But oh, sort of thing. And you just sort of slide them back in. A little stopper. Get it around the right way. Always works better. And voila, you're ready to go again. So that's it. That's pretty much it. And you can either, like they're still kind of good. Whether you can recycle those or something and stick them or somewhere, I don't know. If you've got the, um, the original piece of paper, you could probably just stick them back on there and then reuse them, to be honest. There you go. So that's basically those, and that's what's left in the wheels. Now, it's going to be a bit of a show of all the drills. But I have got still in what I had kitted up, tons of drills. Move the spoon. Oopsie daisy. So what I might just do is just try and get everything organised. There we go. And just show you there, 
I had plenty of all drills left over in my actual container or containers. Like there was plenty of those colours. They're nice and bright and shiny. Look at that. That's heaps in there. And this is the crazy best bit. When I was, this is what the actual uh, camp, uh, start again. Um, this is what the actual kit comes with, right? So this is the actual bags. So I've still got all this as well. Like there's still bags in here that have got drills in them. So this has got a real lot of drills, especially these back colours, these browns and so forth. And you come with these little baggies, as you can see, with the numbers and so forth. So if you want to just store your drills back in here, you can. I did have them in order, so I knew what I was doing, but now I've mucked that up. But that's okay. Um, so yeah, I can just pop them all back in to their allocated bags and put them in my store uh, to have a look and, you know, keep them or whatever I like to do with that sort of thing, basically. So yeah, heaps and heaps of drills left over. I, I have to say, that's pretty amazing. That's a good lot. I mean, you can look like you have a whole kit still. And I've still got to empty the, the wheels. So, far as... Oops, the daisy now. I've got them everywhere. <coughs> Whoops. Um, anyway, doesn't matter. So, all in all, it's a really nice little kit. Now, I believe I must check, but I think I got this one from One Day Savings. But you can probably get it from other stores as well. But, uh, yeah. I do like it. It does come up nice. So if you do see this on one of the e-stores, it is a nice one to get. It does come up nicely. Um, as I said, the one I actually got, it's got plenty of drills left over. Like there is tons. I see I made a big mess over there. But yeah, all in all, very, very happy. I love the result. Um, as I said, I will frame this and pop this up on the wall. And yeah, it's been a good little dime painting. As I said, I did enjoy the process of working on it. It was nice to chip away and just do little section by section. And, uh, yeah, I enjoyed doing it. Even though it's got a lot of browns and things, I still enjoyed the process. It was a nice painting to work on, a little project. Uh, yeah, couldn't fault it in too many difficulty things. I said I would like the glue to be a little bit more, a bit more stickier, probably would be something if you want to be picking on it. But... You know, it's, it's probably about average to these kind of dime paintings for those um, budget-friendly type uh, varieties, areas, things. Anyway, I'm rambling. So um, that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed looking through this process of this dime painting coming together. And uh, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoy that process and I'll see you for the next one. I'll go and figure out what my next project shall be and let you know what that's going to be coming up soon. Alright guys, be well, be safe. I'll see you in the next video. Until then, happy time painting.